In our first lesson for this unit, we talked about what makes two figures congruent in geometry. And we established that congruence could be proven if all angles and all side lengths were congruent to one another in corresponding sets. Well, the reality is that when working with triangles, that level of restriction is too much for what is needed. So in this lesson, we're going to begin looking at other types of congruence proofs that can be used. We're going to start out with what's called a side-side-side congruence. So that brings us to postulate 4-1, the side-side-side postulate. It states that if three sides from one triangle are congruent to three sides from another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So in the diagram that is shown here, if I can prove that AB is congruent to DE, that BC is congruent to EF, and that CA is congruent to FD, then I would have sufficient information to state that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. And we're going to use this to generate proofs of triangles that we're not quite as certain about. So in this figure that is shown, if we know that AB, line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD, and that line segment AD is congruent to line segment CB, how can we prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDB? Now, in doing this, remember that the segments are named out, or the vertices are named out, in order of their congruent parts. And we have everything we need except for one. We have in our proof style here that line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD and that is a given fact or a given piece of information. Next, we have that line segment AD is congruent to line segment CB and again that is a given piece of information. What we need in order to prove the congruence here by side, side, side is to say that BD is congruent to DB. And since BD and DB are the same, we can say that that is by the reflexive property, which simply states that an item is congruent to itself. Now we have established that the angle, the sides of these two triangles have a one-to-one -one correspondence of congruent parts, so now we can say therefore that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDB by side, side, side postulate. And all we have to do is that, establish the sides, and that is sufficient information to state that the triangles are congruent to one another. Now side, side, side is one of four commonly used proof postulates or theorems for triangles. Let's take a look at another one. Postulate 4.2 is the side angle side postulate, and this states that if two sides and the included angle from one triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle from another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. In other words, if I know that AB is congruent to DE and BC is congruent to EF, and that I know that angle B is congruent to angle E, then I have enough information by side angle side the order here is important, two sides with an angle trapped in between, are congruent to each other. So how can we use this to generate proofs? Well, we need to establish two sides and the angle in between them as being congruent. So let's take a look at this. What other information would we need to prove that these triangles are congruent using side angle side? Well, let's take a look at what we know. We know that angle EFH is congruent to angle GHF. 
and that's a given fact or a given piece of information. We also know that FH, line segment FH, is congruent to line segment HF, and that's by the reflexive property. So we have this side being congruent to itself, and we have the angles. So in order to have a side angle side, we have here our side, an angle, we would need the side that goes with it. So we need HG to be congruent to, well, here's our side, our angle, here would be the other side we need, and that is FE. If we had that piece of information, we'd be able to prove by side angle side that these two triangles are congruent. And we'd have to go through some sort of proof method in order to show that, and that will be coming in subsequent lessons. But right now, we're just working on being able to identify congruence, and we have side angle side and side, side, side to do that with. Make sure you learn these postulates and how to be able to apply them, and we'll use them moving forward in our study of geometry.